third part and fourth part is bearing bottom half bearing top half i'll do simultaneously the third part and fourth part just look at the dimensions vertically and horizontally so this is he has given horizontally the dim dimensions he has given horizontally he has given vertically in this picture that's why i will select front plane once you select the plane make normal to the plane and the sketch i will draw two center line one is for horizontal one is for vertical dimensions okay just read horizontal dimensions first one is 22 one is 36 one is 50 i will draw only half of that means 11 18 and 25 select offset entity give a depth of 11 and select this center line select right side select one more offset and give a depth of 18 and select this axis and select it at the right side Again, select offset entities, give a distance of 25. Select this axis and give in the right side. Here you are having mirror entities, select mirror and select these three lines by holding control button in your mouse about this axis. Okay. Though uh, we have defined the horizontal dimensions. Next, go for the vertical dimensions. So, they have given diameter. Print from this to this is 25 mm diameter. I will take only radius. This to second circle diameter, 35. From this point to third circle diameter, 38. From this point to fourth circle diameter, 50 mm. I will start with this 25. Half of 25 means 12.5, 17.5, 19, 50 means 25. Again, this I will select offset entities. First define 12.5. Select this horizontal axis and select in the top direction. Select offset 17.5. Select this axis, give it in the, in the upper direction. Next 19. Select this axis, top direction. Select offset entities. Select 25. Again select this axis, give it in the top direction. Once the vertical dimension, horizontal dimension is completely defined. Next, just look at the intersection of horizontal and vertical lines. This is a portion where the intersection of vertical and horizontal lines are. Just keep all intersection points as it is. Delete the unwanted extra lines. This is not necessary, just trim it off. This is also not necessary, just trim it off. This also not necessary, just trim it off. This also not necessary, just trim it off. I want only the intersection portion. Where the horizontal and vertical lines intersected. Just keep that only. Next, I will make a step. Using trim option, just look at the step. I will start with this end point. This, from this to this is one step. Next step, from this point, next step. Keep step as it is. Keep step as it is. Remaining is, you can delete the remaining one. I don't want, just keep the step here to here. Means I don't want this position. Next. Similarly, keep step on this side also. Here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here. Sorry. Next, delete this portion. Okay. Once you once the step is ready, next delete this this dimension completely. Top or dimension also you can delete. This is also not necessary. We have written only steps now. Okay. 
select ok come out of the sketch keep it in the isometric mode under features select revolved boss once you select the revolved boss always you have to select the axis one ok so simultaneously I have done the third, third part and fourth part so save it as both top and bottom top and bottom ok next close this, this one open open already I have saved it in the desktop as a top and bottom open it and I will do the third part select this portion make normal to sketch under sketch I will draw one circle exactly up to this radius and <coughs> in the middle I will draw one horizontal line using trim option you can delete this portion once you delete this portion come out of the sketch keep it in the isometric mode under features select extrude cut select this <coughs> portion go on increasing this distance ok uh, you, uh, you have retained the top portion means the fourth diagram that's what bearing top half once you have this select here you should have a here you should have a 4mm hole that's why I will select this face make normal to the face under sketch exactly at the coordinate point I will draw one circle of diameter 4mm once you define the circle diameter come out of the sketch keep it in the isometric mode under features select extrude cut select this circle ok now you can save it as bearing top half bearing top half same again open top and bottom okay. again select this face make normal to face under sketch select circle draw up to this point again <coughs> draw one more line horizontally using trim you just trim this bottom portion come out of the sketch keep in the isometric mode under features select extrude cut select this profile go on increasing this depth until it should come out of that ok you have retained the bottom portion means that is what bearing bottom half here in the bearing bottom half you are having one 6 mm diameter that is extruded outside you can see that in the top portion at what depth you should give so it is started with this point means a center point and the third circle means the, the third circle means the initial radius is 12.5 next radius is 17.5 means it is started with the 17.5 okay plus 5 mm so up to this from center to this way 17.5 plus 5 means 22.5 depth is 22.5 22.5 its uh, diameter is 6 mm So I will select under sketch, I will select this face, make normal to face, under sketch, 
I'll draw one more exactly at this point circle of diameter 6 mm. Once you define the circle diameter, come out of the sketch, keep it in the isometric mode. On the features, select <coughs> extrude bars. It has taken in the upward uh, direction, I want in the reverse direction. Select this one. At what distance? Already it has started with the center. Center to that circle limit 17.5 plus 5 mm means 22.5. Now you can see that I want only this portion. I don't want this one. That's why again select this face, make normal to face, draw one more circle with this point as a center up to this one. Come out of the sketch, keep it in the isometric mode. And the features select extrude cut. Select this profile. Go on increasing this depth. Now you can save it as bearing bottom half. Save it. 